Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Kamen Rider Build Genius Form from the Rider Kicks Figure Legend Rider series. This was Build's final form. As you can see here, some pretty cool pictures on the sides. Not too much going on in the bottom or the top, but then spin around to the back. You have uh, the Genius Form doing the typical Rider Kick. And then it shows a lot of the other build figures that are available in the line. So, pretty basic for the packaging. Uh, they're going to go ahead and get him out of there, and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here is Build Genius Form out of the packaging. I think he looks pretty good. The paint applications he does have look good. You have the gold here around the ankle. It's kind of a shame that it stops abruptly, but it looks good if you're just looking uh, yeah, straight on. Same up here on the wrist. But, I mean, you know, all these colors that you have going on on the shins, on the thighs, the forearm... The bicep, definitely the shoulder pads also look good. And the head, the head looks great. And he's got kind of a cool reflective holofoil thing going on there in the chest. So when the light catches that, it actually looks pretty cool. But as you can see, all of the bottles are unpainted. All on the back, on the back of the shoulders. I can't remember if the bottle change rider figure had them individually painted. I kind of think it did. Um, now that figure was probably twice as much as this one, so I understand you're paying for extra paint applications. So for what you are paying for, I think they did a pretty good job with this one. Um, but if you're willing to spend a little bit extra money, that might be one of the areas where the Bottle Change Rider version of this figure wins out. Because it obviously has more paint applications. Uh, as far as the articulation goes, pretty standard for this line. Heads on a ball joint, hinge in the shoulder, and a swivel. You can move the shoulder pad so as not to limit articulation. Got a bicep swivel there, 90 degree in the elbow. Wrist can swivel. As per usual, you can pop the hands out if you'd like because he does come with some additional hands. He's got kind of this strange pointing, weird, like almost like doing the Spider-Man pose kind of hand. And uh, another kind of weird just hand pose. So you got these if you want you can go ahead and pop out the old hands pop those in you have that kind of ball joint there in the chest area nothing in the waist to the front with the leg to the side with the leg can't really go that far back because of the butt skirt no thigh swivel pretty much 90 degrees in the knee and then ball joint in the ankles so like i said pretty standard for these figures by now he does come with one accessory, which is the giant sword, and I can't remember what this thing was called, so I apologize. Um, but you only get the sword version, no gun version. But I will say, it's nicely molded on the back, like really well done. I believe with the Bottle Change Rider series, this was hollow in the back to save plastic. So, that is one plus. I think uh, this is a better accessory. Now again... You don't get the sword and the gun, you just get the sword, but I do think it looks pretty good. You can see here that there's a tiny little pinhole. There's a tiny little pin on the inside of his hand. So you can just go ahead and pop this in and then peg it in for a little bit of extra stability. So there you go. But yeah, I mean, it, it looks pretty good. It's molded all in white, and of course it pops right out. Let's get this back in there. It doesn't... Sometimes getting it lined up is not the easiest, but you can do it. I'm going to get this done, and then I'll show you guys in a sec. So yeah, that was strangely more difficult than you would expect. I don't really know why, but once it's in there, uh, it looks pretty good wielding it, so I appreciate that. The other hand can grab onto this handle if you like. I tried it out. and go ahead and take this off, and you can have him hold it on here like that if you like. That handle really applies more for the gun mode. Since we don't have the gun mode, it doesn't make as much sense. But if you want, you can hold it by that handle. It's neat. Uh, but yeah, I really like the figure. I think he looks pretty good. Like I said, there's definitely going to be some areas where the bottle change rider figure wins out. But I think the main area that this wins out on is I think that this sword accessory is better. Now I say that as I'm having trouble getting it pegged in. I don't know why. It's it's just, I think because it's so heavy. Or maybe it's just it's, since the hole is so tiny, it really doesn't want to line up correctly. There we go. 
So yeah, once you have it in hand, it looks good. And like I said, the figure does look good. The, the most jarring thing is those unpainted bottles on the back and the arms. But, you know, like I said, it's definitely cheaper. I would guess the bottle change rider figure is probably twice the price. So if you're looking for a cheaper version that still looks pretty good for uh, Genius Form, then this one is definitely the one you're going to want to check out. And also it has the added benefit of being in scale with all the other Rider Kicks figures. So everything across Build, X8, and Geo, all in scale. So that's pretty cool. I really hope this line continues. And I really think of all the ones they've done of X8, we haven't gotten a regular Brave and Snipe yet. And that concerns me. Uh, but that's ranting for another time. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.